guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, first of all, happy freaking New Year. Life just kind of hit me really hard towards the end of 2016. I was sick for two weeks and I'm so ready to start anew with 2017. So with 2017, as you see in the title, you're probably like, what is jump into January? So I want to challenge myself to jump into the new year with two feet, just jump straight on in and try to achieve some goals. And there's a couple of goals that I want to achieve and I want to share that with you guys. And I want to encourage you guys to jump into January with me. So what jump into January is everyone has goals they set, whether it being um, life goals, whether it being YouTube goals, whether it being career goals, everyone places goals at the end of the year. But instead of tiptoeing in, I want to jump in head first, feet first, dive on in and make a huge splash. So when I come back at the end of 2017, I know that I made my mark on this earth. Number one, I want to hopefully post at least three times a week on this channel, at least during January, I should say. January for me at work is a pretty slow time, and so you'll be seeing vlogs, you'll be seeing various videos. I know I have a lot of my Disney vlogs that I have to edit. It just takes a really long time to edit those videos, so you will be seeing the majority, actually, if not all of my Walt Disney World vlogs. I need to go over my giveaway winners, so that'll be coming up. I'm actually starting to pick the winners, so I have contacted them. As soon as they respond, I will put their names in the description box. So look out for that. You might be the winner. Just wait um, and definitely check back in this description box to see who the winner is. Jumping in, I want to do some things that make me extremely happy. First of all, I'm not happy with how I'm looking right now. I have gained at least 10, maybe 15 pounds over the past couple of months, and I'm not happy with where I'm at. So luckily, I am starting off with the new Tone It Up, Not Your Love, Your Body. It's their new workout that I'm doing with my dear friend Alyssa, aka AJ, who is Disney for two here on YouTube. We are diving into that as well because I want to go in and make myself look and feel the best that I possibly can. Like I said, I don't feel the best. I've been really sick, and I know a lot of it has to do with work, also with my diet. And so I'm just going to be diving in full speed ahead. We're gonna go and I'm gonna transform my body to a rockin' body that I can feel confident when I take my engagement photos and also when I have my wedding this year. Josh and I are getting married this year and I'm so excited to finally marry my best, man, uh, my best friend, but I wanna look good and I wanna feel good and I wanna be confident and I don't feel that right now. Another thing you're gonna be seeing is I'm kind of gonna be doing a decluttering series throughout the entire year. Uh, starting probably next week, Every Monday what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a collection of makeup and what I plan on doing is that week I'm going to be using up only those specific items. My friend Liv loves her makeup does something similar to this but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a makeup palette, maybe some foundation, um, lip liner, lipstick, you know, whatever it is. That's what I'm going to use for the entire week and then at the end of the week I will tell you if I like the product and I'm keeping the product or if I'm decluttering the item. That way I can just really narrow down my makeup to my essentials, to my favorite items, because I feel like I don't use my products enough. And obviously with makeup there comes expiration dates, and so they're not like shoes where you can just wear them once and then wear them again another year. No, you have to use up your makeup. So I would rather downsize my makeup to my essentials, my favorite holy grail items. Hopefully I will be able to do a couple of tutorials throughout the week. Definitely one per week, just kind of showing you what my go-to look was with those makeup products for the week. It's, it doesn't make any sense right now. Like I said, I will give clarity when I first start that video, but I'm going to show you the makeup that I'm going to be using for the week, and then the following week, once we get into a routine, I will show you what the makeup's going to be for the next week, and then give you my review on the products that I used and tell you if I'm going to keep them or if I'm going to lose them. And that's just going to be my way to downsize my makeup collection and just be happy and satisfied with what I have. Also, that'll help me with spending. I spent way too much during 2016, and that's not gonna say that I'm not gonna, you know, splurge and buy makeup items, but like I said, I really want to narrow it down. Like right now, I only have one mascara, which I'm really grateful that I only have one mascara. I do have one that's coming in the mail, but I found a holy grail mascara that I love, and so it's like, why don't I just stick with that? Why don't I be content and stick with that? So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I also wanna give you guys more Disney content. That's something that I really want to do, and then towards the the end of the year, I really want to dive in full speed ahead and make music videos for you guys. My friend Tracy and I have been wanting to do a collaboration for a while. I know that that's something that we're going to be doing. I know I want to make music a part of my channel. I love music. I want music to be a part of my channel. And so 
that's something that I want to do is I want to save up and buy myself a ukulele um, or a guitar and I want to be able to incorporate music onto my channel. The fact of the matter is I want to post content that I love. So if I feel God telling me, you know what, you need to sit down and you need to share something that's on your heart, I'm going to share what's on my heart. I suffer from anxiety and depression and I've just been really depressed the past couple of weeks and I want to overcome that. This year is my year. This year is the year that I want to make that I jump in full speed ahead where I get fit, where I'm financially secure, where I'm confident in who I am and I know who I am, where I know where my career is headed. You know, that's what I, I claim for this year. I am so grateful that I achieved my goal of 5,000 subscribers. I didn't think it was going to happen and I achieved it and then some. My goal for this year is to hopefully gain 10,000. It would be a miracle if I gained 15,000 subscribers and quality subscribers. That's the beauty of it that I'm so grateful for is that I have 5,500 incredible subscribers who are so positive, encouraging, uplifting, who understand if life gets in the way and I am set back a bit and only post a video or no videos during that week but just get it that I have a life outside of YouTube but that you guys definitely are a priority in my life and I couldn't have asked for a better following family here on YouTube it's just been a true blessing I just kind of wanted to explain I know it's all over the place I'm a little all over the place that's another goal for me is to kind of get my ducks in a row for this year and it's gonna start off with January how to jump back into life how to jump back into life when your life is so chaotic it's just a way to reconnect reconnect with loved ones reconnect with myself I'm not gonna tiptoe in like I have been, I'm just gonna jump right in. If you could feel compelled and you're like, you know what, there's been something on my heart that I feel like I really need to do, but I haven't done it. For example, if you feel like you want to start a YouTube channel, but you've been so scared to do it, I encourage you to jump into January and go for it, man. Go for it full speed, 100%. You know, if there's maybe you wanted to go into dancing or musical theater, or if you really wanted to play the guitar or the some sort of instrument, or you really just wanted to make your body be at the healthiest that it possibly could be, I encourage you to jump in. If you wanted to become a photographer and really post on Instagram, I encourage you to jump in. If you do do so and you want to share how you're jumping into January, go ahead and use the hashtag jump into January. And whenever I post something that is jumping outside of the box or jumping outside of my comfort zone, I'm gonna use that hashtag on Instagram and social media and I encourage you to do so too. That way we have a platform where we can encourage one another. When I look up that hashtag, I can and see oh Mary just set a goal for herself to lose 50 pounds and I can encourage you you can do it as well and that way we can have a full support system encouraging each other to not just live half-heartedly. I want you to go full speed ahead so that way you can accomplish your goals and have a very strong and powerful year. If you are on board and you are ready to tackle January of 2017 and make this year a better year for you, then definitely go ahead and use that hashtag and um, I will definitely be liking and commenting on all of your content. But yeah, that is it for this video guys. I hope you have an amazing, amazing new year and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.